All right, welcome back. This is uh, part two of growing season 2016. And uh, as I showed you in the first video, of course, can't forget about Mocha. Let's say hello to Mocha. Mocha Mokes. There you go. There's my girl. Okay, so as I showed you in the for first video, these are my Dutch buckets. And uh, as you can see, the tomato plants are doing really well. Uh, they were planted, I believe it was around June 14th, June 16th, somewhere around there. So we're looking at about, oh, six weeks on the uh, tomato plants. And uh, right now we seem to be doing much better. Uh, we weren't getting enough rain earlier. And uh, this month it seems like we've gotten a nice amount of rain. We've gotten about two inches of rain, actually a little bit more than that and uh, it has assisted in things growing and of course the hydroponic system itself in general with the uh, nutrient solution is uh, assisting the plants and growing really well so anyhow let's get to work here a couple of things i want to show you if you notice this container has some black spots on it okay point them out right over there all right, really important to be aware of this. When you see this, it means that you have a tomato worm somewhere around about on your tomato plants. And uh, I have had two tomato worms that I took off yesterday. I do know that I have one on one of my tomato plants and I'm gonna show you in a little bit uh, what it looks like. So, okay. Uh, in my last video, my first Dutch bucket, uh, the tomato plant is uh, recovering nicely. It's slow, though it is recovering nicely. The third one that had been injured from sunburn uh, had a really nice top on it. I went to remove the cover, I broke the top. So it is recovering again. As you can see, it's doing quite well. And uh, it's got a new shoot on it. I'll see if I get anything out of the uh, tomato plant itself. Okay, a couple of other things. Uh, a couple of weeks ago, I had some problems with a deer or multiple deer munching on my hydroponic tomato plants because I put fencing around my planted tomato plants as well as tins, pie tins. And that scared them away from there. So instead they decided to come over here and this kind of shows you what they do. That's munched off the top. So uh, if you notice right above there, those are deer repellent bags. And you put one up every about two feet. And uh, they are, they seem to be effective. I know that Mocha, my little dog, is not happy with them at all. Um, as I'm standing here and working with this tomato plant, I have an opportunity to show you uh, what a tomato worm looks like. So, like I said to you, if you notice on the cover, there are kind of square-shaped poops. And especially this guy, uh, let's see, right there, that's the most important. Now, let's go visit our buddy. Here is the tomato worm, right there. And that tomato worm is chewing my plant and it will also chew on tomatoes. As you can see, he is munching away as we talk. So, you can see he has destroyed that leaf. And uh, I'm going to take a pause right now because I need to get rid of him. Well, well, I'll deal with them later. Anyhow, all right, let's move on. You can see that uh, this tomato plant is doing really nice. If you look at the bottom of the tomato over here that I'm holding up, oh, let's see if I can get that. Okay, right there, that's blossom and rot, okay? Um, don't really know too much about how to stop it, prevent it, what caused it. Uh, it's one of those things that it does happen. So I've got a couple with blossom and rot. 
and uh, you can see these guys are doing real well. And uh, I have a tomato plant that has a flower on it that was really, really weird, and it's got a really weird tomato. And here's the plant right here. This tomato plant right here. That was the flower. Okay, you can see how gnarly and and how many like flowers were all tied together. And it was actually one flower, but it's created this really weird looking tomato. And all right, it's gonna be good. It is a, uh, I believe that's a solar flare. So it will be good. They, uh, last year I had a few of them that did that as well. And uh, you can also see over here where some of the top is. So, and this one has one as well. You can see right over here is one with a wild flower on it. It will do the same thing, whatever. So uh, what I had been doing when they were first starting off, I was trimming down all of the growth that starts off like this right here. That's a sucker. And we want to remove that because it's going to cause the plant to bush out too low and take away strength from the plant. So once a plant gets to about this height, then okay, fine, we can allow these other suckers to grow. But initially on the bottom, we want to pull these guys out. Uh, they make a mess of the plant. So, okay. These guys are growing. They're all right. These are tomato plants that were planted in dirt. And I removed the dirt and planted them into hydroponics. They're doing okay. This guy's doing real good. And uh, kind of cool that I was able to take the dirt away without them going into shock and they've grown nicely. These are my peppers. These are jalapenos, and as you can see, I do have a flower over here on there. The other pepper plants are really growing nice. Uh, this guy's doing really well. Some of the leaves are a little bit curled. Uh, also, there are poops on here. So, yeah, I'm sure there was a tomato worm on here that I pulled off, and uh, this over here, that's my bell peppers. And uh, they've grown beautifully, they really have. And uh, this, this tomato plant is a San Marzano. It's a plum size. Uh, also note to you that yesterday I got my first tomato. Uh, I've gotten a uh, cucumber and a tomato. Do you notice? Here we go again. We've got poops. So, that means that there is a tomato worm floating around on that plant and usually when you see the poops there it means that that tomato worm is close to that area and uh, like I said I got a couple of them that I took off yesterday we saw the one that I showed you and uh, just gotta stay on top of them they will definitely destroy your plants and uh, they come about from a moth and this one over here I use the weed over here to mark it and again we see the poops over here and the tomato worm on this yeah, right there that's the tomato worm and I hope I'm getting them for you Let me zoom back out. Okay, right there. That's the tomato worm. There we go. All right, so, yep, yeah, I'll have to take care of those two that I pointed out to you. Um, so as you can see, I got lots of tomatoes. I gotta give my tomato plants a little more support. They're doing really well, all in all. The system is working fantastic. As you can see, I've got a nice cluster of tomatoes here. They're doing really well. Again, some poop over here. So I'll have to 
go through the plant and see if there's a worm on there. Okay, so let me show you my tomato plants that are planted in the ground. They have come a long way and uh, they were also being eaten by the deer and uh, I got the cages up on them. I will have to run some more uh, line to support the cages because some of them are getting knocked over. Though all in all, uh, they are doing exceptionally well. As you can see, this guy over here needs a little bit of support. So I have to come in here a little bit later on and uh, better support some of these plants. And uh, you can see over here, let's see if I can zoom in and get them. You can see right over there, I've got a red tomato. So uh, I'll have to check him out, see how he's doing. And uh, this is what I was talking about using the pie tents. And uh, you just string them up and you let them bang. And that rattling sound really annoys the deer. They don't feel comfortable and uh, they will run away. This one down here is one that was munched on by a deer and it is recovering. Taking its time, it is recovering. I've got lots and lots of flowers on the tomato plants, lots of tomatoes. So they're doing exceptionally well. I did give them hydroponic food. Um, I gave them two different types, one for general root growth to get them going and then one for fruiting uh, by General Hydroponics. And uh, you can see it's done real well. And we've got a red tomato over here, so that's why I've taken a look here. Yeah, we've got some red tomatoes over there. There we go. Yeah, they're doing really well. Okay, let's take a look at my other garden. And uh, this is a garden with cosmos, potatoes, and onions, and some herbs. And those are all cosmos. They come back every single year on their own. And uh, this is, I think, the third year that they are growing on their own. Um, down here, I have some of my herb plants. I've got some parsley in there. I've got some uh, sweet majorum, some rosemary, and oregano. And over here, it is, uh, I have to remember what it's called. It is, oh, let's see, stevia. There we go. Got some stevia going, and I did uh, make some cuttings and dehydrate it and ground it up. Yes, it is sweet. I'm not sure if I really like the idea of working with it. And uh, over here, I have my onions growing and actually flowering. Yeah, check out that little uh, guy on there. It's really cool. So they're doing really well. And uh, we have some potato plants. These are potato plants in here. That one's got a little bit of a yellow leaf on it. It's getting to the end of the season for them. Over here, I've got some squash growing. And uh, got a nice squash over here that's developing. Uh, I got some beans that are growing in here. That's a bean plant right there. As a matter of fact, he's got a bean right on him, right down there. And uh, this is my rainbow bush. Really cool. It's all different. The flowers are all different colors. There's purples in there and pinks and stuff like that. Plant's about three years old. It was like a little stick when it first arrived. And now it's a nice big bush. These are my cucumbers in here, as you can see. Uh, let's see if I can do this. A yeah, nice cucumber that's growing in here. It's 
So we've got some cucumbers in here. I've got some peas that are growing as well. They're doing really well. Got some uh, cabbage. The uh, white cabbage is a little rough. Uh, I have a bug that's been munching on it, so have to take care of that. And these are my peas over here. So uh, they're doing okay. It's been a little bit of a rough uh, growing season, though uh, it's doing all right. So thanks for watching. Thanks for joining. And uh, enjoy your summer, and I hope your garden is doing as well as mine. Thank you very much. Bye-bye now.